Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Hello everybody. I am Why Are You Reading My Name, and this is a game I found in my replays from a couple of months ago. And I'm going to show you what not to do in solo queue. As I go through the game, I pretty much basically ignore my jungler, which is probably one of the worst things you can do. Because, as you're going to see, probably about three free kills would just completely walk away from us because I'm not where I need to be. As you can see, I went uh, traps first to kind of give me some vision and control my mid lane opponent because I am going to go mid. I went traps to keep them at bay, Minions let me farm a little bit more. Plus it gives me some vision in these bushes. It helps my jungler out, make sure we don't get ganked, that kind of thing. And you're going to see later on why that was a really good, jo uh, really good idea when Kennen tries to jump me with his ult and walks right into a trap. This right here, my jungler is doing wolves, and I'm just standing here herping. It was really bad play on my part because my jungler lost a lot of health because of it. I should have attacked every wolf at least twice. I just left him out there by himself. See, right there, I could have attacked blue one or two more times to give him an extra edge and it just really I'm, I'm just really not helping my jungler at all in this game as you can see this is a really bad play in solo queue because it just it hurts the entire team because our jungler is supposed to be able to gank for us and control our jungle and I'm just I'm ignoring him absolutely Right here, I really should have attacked Kennen a little bit faster instead of letting my trap wear off. He was standing there. He couldn't really do anything. He could Q me, but I had auto attack and Q that I could have thrown down on him. I really would have won that trade. Instead, I just watched him. I'm kind of wasting mana by missing all those Qs. I really need to be focused on farming. But this game, I was actually dual Q with the uh, Yi in bottom lane and... So I was trying to play really, really safe and maybe make something out of our duo queue later in the game. And it just, it didn't come to anything as you, you're going to sit. First blood. Ha! An ally has been slain.
Right now, I could be harassing Kennen a little bit more. Instead, I'm just letting him chase me out and zone me. I really do have a little bit more damage than he does because I can dodge his skill shot pretty easily. My auto attack, it hits him every time. That is the beauty of Caitlyn. Her range and her basic damage on her auto attack, it allows her so much control over the lane she's in as long as she doesn't just stand around like an idiot like I've been doing most of this game so far. I'm trying to get some farm, build some items, and make something out of my dual queue, like I said, but it's just not working at all. Instead, I'm playing way too passively. I'm ignoring my jungler. I'm not pushing my lane and roaming. I'm not really making anything of my early advantage over Kennen. He has range on me with his Q, and that's it. And I didn't really do anything with it. Right now, I'm blaming my jungler for that failed gank, and it was really kind of a team effort there. Neither one of us really communicated all that well with the other one. I did a late pickup on it. I didn't go when I needed to. Uh, he went before I was ready, before he knew I was ready. It was just sort of a team fail there. No. Right now, I'm trying to push the lane out as far as I can so I can go back and get a couple of items. Uh, some, Just something to give me a little bit more ability to fight Kennen.